Hello friends, we are out here. We're on the smallmouth waters. I've been trying to make videos, but I haven't been catching any fish. <laughs> I went out to the uh, Georgia Mountain Lakes yesterday after that rain, hoping that they'd be generating some water. Wasn't the case. So that was actually a skunk trip. Um, unfortunate. I don't even like saying that word, but it happens. It's part of it. But hopefully we're out here. Get on something. Get a big old smolly. Ooh, I just saw one blow up. Go over there. Out here fishing with Derek. John couldn't fish today. Trying to find him. Trying to get on something. Hate driving up here. It's like a freaking twisty, obnoxious log road that they just paved. Takes about an hour and to get to this boat ramp takes about an hour and 15, hour and 20. But we're out here, we're gonna try to catch a few and I'll be checking back with you. Oh, by the way, it's like 58 degrees. Well, they're not biting here either. I lost two on the Nessie. Well, I never really hooked them up, but they rolled on it. Hook up ratio on that thing is not good. This one, probably about 15 inches. I'm trying to measure him. Finally found some fish in these tree in these laydowns. Ooh, just got a good one on the fluke. Nice long one. That's one for the strike king right there. That's one for the strike king. Look at that. It's a good one for I League too. Sitting right there, ate that fluke. Yeah. Why am I, why are my feet like this? Stay on the board. Barely hooked. Yeah, that's a nice long one. That's a nice long one. That is an 18 three quarter. Eighteen three quarter. Nice fish. <clears throat> All right. Thank you for spining me. <clears throat> Get a selfie. Let's get a video. New canoe release. Right back to his hole. Hello oh, friends, we are out here on smallmouth waters. This is a different, this lake is called Lake Appalachia. It's really cool. It's like kind of the spillway to Lake Hiawassee. I'm out here fishing with John and my buddy Larry. Larry just come back from the Hobie on Chick, so we hooked up. Let's see if we can catch a few. Ugh. I know what this is. Don't be coming out here without a motor because when they generate power, you're not going to be able to get back. Just to let you know. If you have any questions about it, just leave it in the comments. I'll try to get back with you. Oh, I forgot my net. There's a chunkster right there, a little chunkster. 
He came up and said Rudy. He came up and said Rudy on the flute. Let's get the phone out. He might go 16 and three quarter. That's what I'm predicting. It's good for the eye leaf. Take anything. Okay, let's see. Nope. Ow. He's strong. He is 15 and a half. All right. 15 and a half. Finally got a good fish. Oh my God, it's been so bad today. It's been fun, but it's been tough. I'm trying to get in the shade here a little bit. Take a picture of him. Finally got a good one. Old big head too. Old, old bubble lipped. He's got a messed up face. Here he is. He might go 20. I don't know. He's long and skinny. Busted jaw. on This one's messed up. That is a messed up bass. Whoa. Let's get the camera out. About to lose my rod. Skinny. He'll be good for the Strike King too. Oh my God. I got two bites in there, broke off one. 18 and a half on a fluke. Three fish there. She broke one off. He wasn't huge. He just came right across that rock. Flues me.
brought here Georgia Mountain Lakes there cooked up. Oh, he jumped off. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Dude, when you get forward facing sonar, you're gonna be unstoppable because you already fish, know how to fish the bait. Yeah. Oh, I just got bit too. Derek's hooked up. Oh, that's a nice large mouth. In the net. Damiki rig Derek. That was the first cast in that rig. <laughs> Dialed in Derek. Damiki rig Derek. It's that one there, preloader. Yep, I can't afford those. <laughs> I bought one pack. Ooh. I saw some bait on the flat when I came across it. The bait has been everywhere. It's been, bait was all up through here yesterday, but it was all small balls. Mm -hmm. That was my good night scene. I didn't catch anything. You just have it on a jig head? Yep. Uh, <laughs> almost 19 minutes ready. Wait a minute, I wanna, I wanna, yeah. Make a short. Let's make a short. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yep. There it is. Native watercraft tight next release. That was good. Good content for once. Well, Derek's catching him. At least he's getting bit on his little rig, but uh, we're on the struggle. Caught a 12 incher, but that's too small. I'm not gonna measure that. I need it though. I need one more. I'm gonna fish shallow. I'm gonna freaking catch a big one on my buzz bait or flute. Guys are out here working. Getting their roof done. The well, Mexicans are not wearing their um, safety harnesses. Billy goats. Guys, I don't know how those guys do it. When I turned 50, I was like, I'm done going on the roof. Only in extreme circumstances. My roof is not even super sloped.
has to catch. Here we go. A shaky rig. A shaky minnow. Forward facing shaky minnow. Shaking a minnow. With no um, forward facing. Congratulations to Abide Fishing, Joshua, for uh, getting a fifth place at High Rock. Good job. I know he's been fishing out there a lot because I know he had to do um, look back on his videos. He's been catching them out there. He had to have one of his kayaks serviced. And uh, he's been going back out there. It's kind of... I think it's like three hours from Charlotte. I don't know. It was like five and a half hours from here when I went. I was on him too. Um, I missed that whole, I mean, I was just, I missed the bite like big time. But uh, um, I did catch some big ones. They were on those docks and it's like, it made me so mad too. Cause like when I kind of figured it out in practice, or just the dock part of it. There was like three stages of bites. There was in the morning out in front of the dock, which I was throwing the wrong thing. Um, and then there was dock bite. Like they were pre-spawning and then going to the dock just to be on the females, to be under it to spawn. And then the males were like, almost like on the, closer to the bank, like swimming around. But uh, the only thing I could get them to eat, which I heard out there, was like um, June bug Cinco's had like one pack and it wasn't even full. Every tackle shop out there was sold out of any June bug stick worm. It's like, come on, guys, order product, like get the product. You know, you don't maybe you don't need like twenty packs of pink lemonade trick worms. Maybe you could just get an extra case of of the stuff that's like working I think that's also like I mean I love going to local tackle shops don't get me wrong and and as far as online goes like Omnia fishing oh they're the worst for never having anything they're trying to sell you that stupid map deal all the time and like I'd rather just have them have product but I ordered a Stella. I'm, I'm so excited to get it. No, excuse me, a Stratic. <laughs> no, I did not order a Stella. A Stratic 4000. Uh, I was surprised they had it. I love 4000 reels because number one, they're bigger frames. So um, a 2500 reel and a 3000 reel are the exact same frame. They just have a bigger diameter spool in the 3000. When you go up to a 4,000, it's actually a bigger frame, noticeably bigger frame. Um, and everything is bigger. The gears are bigger, the handle's bigger, the spool is bigger, has better take up. Um, and not only to mention that, it's less wear and tear because it's bigger. It's not small, it's not wearing out as fast. Um, it, and when you get a 4,000 reel, it pays to buy a higher end reel, like a Tatula or a, because they're light. Like I have a Nasky, it's got, I think it's got, I don't know, might have an aluminum frame. I don't know, but I really noticed the weight difference. It's a great reel, but, and it was only like a hundred bucks. One here on the, ow, 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 ow. ow. Aye. He got me. Oh. 
There's a freaking big one right there. Man, he might go 19 and a half. Whew. Let's get a measurement. Drop the anchor. All right, let's get the camera out. <clears throat> That's a Dupert. That's a Dupert Murdoch right there. All right, let's get a selfie of him. Today. Yes, 19 and a, God. all right, 19 and a half. Good, nice video.